Hello. Today, I'm very privileged to demonstrate to you a very important technology that we use in agriculture to promote crops. And today we'll be talking about budding and grafting. I'm sure today's the first day some of you would have heard about budding and grafting. What really is budding and grafting? Now when we look at plants, the propagation of plants actually, there are two principal ways of promoting or propagating plants. One of them is by seeds. All of us know that well. For, um, for example, we have some okra seeds or borer seeds. We go in our backyard, we make a hole, we can put a few seeds and it's going to grow. So that form of plant propagation, we refer to that as sexual propagation. And the other type, which we refer to as asexual propagation, that's using parts of the plant to propagate that plant. For example, all of us are aware of cassava. And in terms of cassava, we do not use seeds, but we use cuttings of the cassava. So we'd cut a piece of that cassava stick, as we call it, and we push it in the ground, we water it, and then it will give buds and it will grow. Some other crops that is being propagated this way as well, we have like the poi that we'll cut and plant in the soil. We also have sweet potato. We have sugar cane as well too. So these are some crops that we do not propagate by seed. So we propagate those by cuttings and refer to those as asexual propagation. So budding and grafting fits into that definition of asexual propagation or vegetative propagation. So we're gonna demonstrate that today for you. And I hope that you pay careful attention so that you can learn and understand this very important technology of budding and grafting. So an important thing to note is that there is a, a, there is a difference between budding and grafting. Despite their, both of them, they are vegetative propagation or they are types of vegetative propagation. One, the budding is actually removing a bud from a plant of the desirable characteristics and place it into a rootstock and it's been wrapped. But also, with regards to the grafting, it's a similar operation, but in this case, it's a complete piece of wood that we use in, or what we call a scion, a piece that we take from the other plant and we make it into a wedge and we put it together so that they can fuse and wrap. So in budding and grafting, one of the advantages the is that- The budding knife will be dipped when we into a solution budding, of 3% bleach. Then we will, and then she will further dip a very it desirable into some clean sterilized water of a plant that we need onto this plant. We bought it onto the, the rootstock that we have here, and that will enable us to have a new plant. So the two parts of the, the plant that will be budded, as you are seeing in the, as you are seeing in the citrus plant here, when we clip the top off of this plant, what remains in the bag is called the rootstock. And the rootstock can be taken from any citrus plant. But the part that we're going to be budding onto the rootstock is referred to as a scion. And that is taken from the desirable variety that we want you know, to propagate or we want to have. First of all, in front of me, we have a few plants here. We have mango plants and we have also some citrus plants. So budding, we will be demonstrating the budding on the citrus plant and we'll be doing the grafting on the mango plant. Now there are different types of budding, but the one we'll be doing today is what we refer to as the chip budding. Today with me is Ms. Rajkumari Lalta, and she will do the physical demonstration of how we perform the operation of budding and grafting. So as I mentioned before, there are a few equipments that I need to make known to you that will successfully undertake this operation. First of all, we have to have a budding knife, which is a special knife it is specialized for this type of operation. Secondly, we have to have a secateur, which we're gonna to use to cut the plants in order to insert the bud or to graft. And um, thirdly, we need to have also the plants. So before we commence that operation and using the equipment, we must ensure that the environment that we are doing carrying out this operation must be clean and um, as we say, it should be free from any type of contamination from microorganisms and so on. So the tools must be very clean. We must ensure that the secateur is washed properly 
sterilized. Also the budding knife also must be washed and sterilized. Let's undertake the demonstration. This is the rough lemon. How we get the rough lemon? Because it's a stronger rootstock to do the budding. So what we do, we sow the lemon seed in the bin and when it germinates, we transplant under the shades as you see it there under the shades. And like a month, we um, put it on the floor, forget, like the sunlight. It hardened between the stages, seven to nine months, it hardened on the floor. So what we do, this is the um, stage where it's ready to do budding. So we go on in the field and select our bud wood and we sterilize it. And on this rough lemon, you could put on any citrus on it, tangerine, orange, grapefruit, shaddock, any citrus you could bud on, on it. So we go and this is um, tangerine. So what we do, we just make a clean cut like this, cut it like this, just open the back, and this is the bud, cut it like this. You take one bud and just fit it in like this. Then you use the budding tape and you start rough very tightly to come up. Why you wrap it? Because you don't want to, you don't want water to get in this um, tape. And you could see between 14 to 21 days. If this bud alive, you just cut off here and you keep cleaning the rootstock because you don't want rough lemon, you want whatever you bought on, tangerine orange. So this is chip body. And this here is, is long mango. What we do, the same process as the citrus, seven, um, seven to nine months, the stage where it's ready to do budding and grafting too. So we go in the field, we um, want spice. So, just cut it like this. Make a clean cut. Cut in the middle. You make sure your finger and they get the arm bark because remember the salty from your and you just prevent it and make a clean cut. You make sure this this part it tie very tightly because the same thing water cannot get it. But this one you just make a um, slack up. Now at this juncture now we're going to be summarizing what we have done today and I'm hopeful that you would have benefited tremendously from the program today, the demonstration of budding and grafting, which we have explained to you. It's a form of plant propagation, but it's, the, it's what we call the vegetative propagation or the sexual, asexual form of plant propagation. Now as I said, as we have done before, I just want to show you once again. This is our budding tape, 
that we use to tape the bud and also to tape the graft. This is a budding knife. Take a good look at it. Small, but it's a very, very important knife in this process. And also the sec secateur, which we use to cut the plants. Now, importantly, remember I've said that in the budding and the grafting, there are two parts that we use. One is called the rootstock, and the other part is called the scion or the budwood, as you would have heard Ms. Rajkumari mention. Now, the rootstock, this is actually taken from a variety that, is, that can withstand certain pests and diseases. And what we have used for the citrus is the rough lemon. So this one is very hardy. It can withstand certain conditions. And for the mango, we have used the long mango. And again, the same, the same feature, similar features with the mango. It can withstand certain pests and diseases. So in going forward, you would have seen the demonstration of both the budding and grafting. And this is what the final product looks like. This was I'm grafted here. This is the mango, and here we have the spice. So what we see growing here is, this is the spice. So in three years time, you'll have spice mango coming from a long mango rootstock. So beautifully, we can look at it. We see how it is beautifully growing. And also, this is the final product. This is what the citrus looks like and we can see here this was it was budded here and now we see the, the bud producing a shoot a beautiful shoot that will become a plant within a year or a little more we're going to be having tangerine from rough lemon rootstock so um i think this was an amazing exercise today and i'm sure that um if we need to see more of this, we can visit Nari at Monrepo and we can able to benefit from the exercises and the demonstrations. Because as we move into the, the 21st century and as we are talking more about climate smart agriculture, these are some very, very important areas that we can adopt to that will aid us in that process. So I want to thank you very much. Until the next time, my name is Warren, the training manager for Nari. You take care of yourself and be safe with COVID-19. Ensure we practice wearing our masks and social distance and um, be blessed. Thank you very much.